This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're going to be touching base on one of the most exclusive topics uh, on a monthly basis, which is my top five perfumes for the month of, in this case, my top five perfumes for the month of May. Mm. And if you wish to see the more psychological aspect of the decision making behind these top five perfumes for the month of May, then become a member. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member of my YouTube channel, tier two members, as well as my patrons on Patreon, Super Dick Ball Spill Together. Get access to a special exclusive video shot just for you that goes into the more psychological patterning and nuancing of the choices of the fragrances I make. So for all my tier two members and patrons, stay tuned for the behind the top five perfumes for the month of May. For my regular viewers right now, if you haven't already, but wish to consider subscribing to my channel today on YouTube, subscribe and gain access to special things such as live streams every Saturday. So you get to join the fun and see me film these videos before they hit YouTube. So. This video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. Thank you so much to my co-reviewers. Let's see if anybody get, has any guesses as to which perfumes are going to be my top five. Obviously, we are in May of 2021. Let's just call it for what it is. It is number 500th birthday. Uh, the 5th of May of 2021 was Chanel number 500th birthday. So... Of course, number five is in my top five. Number five in the top five on May 5th, <laughs> the 100th birthday. <laughs> it's like a lot of fives and 100 could be 50 plus 50. So anyway, you know what I mean? Numerology wise, it was meant to be. Uh, of course, number five is in the top um, five. And yes, I begin the day with the Pure Perfume. I'm celebrating the Pure Perfume. The Pure Perfume was released in 1921. Uh, and um, you could check out the video card section up above of um, me unboxing this gorgeous vintage 50 year old bottle of Chanel number no. five pure perfume 120 milliliter it smells even though it's like closed it's it, can, it smells through it so just for comparison um, here's a 15 milliliter bottle that I got in the early 2000s so this one's all around 20 years old almost empty so you can see 120 mil is no longer in production. They don't do this size anymore. They do 250 mil or 450 mil or 900 mil. But just for comparison, 15 milliliter compared to 120 mil. This is huge. This is huge. And it's just... Even if I don't find more vintage ones in this size, I'm going to tell you right here and right now, it's worth it. To get the pure perfume of Chanel Number no. Five, even in its current formulation today, it's still majestic. It's still beautiful in its current formulation, and um, the bigger bottles, you know, percentage-wise, you pay less per milliliter the more you buy. It's very expensive uh, to buy it new. I got lucky finding this vintage. I found it sealed, by the way, so you could see me unbox it in that other video. I I was lucky to get a really good deal on it, but if I were to buy again a new it would be quite expensive. I mean, they don't do the 120, they do the 250 mil. The 250 mil is over $1,000, but it's like double the size of this thing. Is it worth it? To a lot of people, it's not. But if you really love Chanel number no. five that much, you could also get the 30 mil. The 30 mil is around $300. But yeah, Chanel number no. five pure perfume is the way to go. They're just, just It's a no brainer. If you got to choose from all the concentrations, it's the pure perfume for me. And if you're on a budget, you could tone it down to the 7.5 mil. They also make it in spray form also to die for. So I start the day with number five. It stays close to the skin. It's refreshing, invigorating. The aldehydes just blossom so beautifully in the morning. It's a wonderful perfume for me. So I begin the day with it. And because it stays so close to the skin, you can layer stuff on top of it. And that's a dabber. It's not a sprayer. So you, I just dab it on some pulse points and the rest of the body is still free. So I could kind of add other nuances to this fragrance throughout the day. So I basically structure my entire May around Chanel number no. five. That's kind of like my the architecture, the bone structure on which I build on top of. So the one that uh, really 
plays in well. Well, all of the ones that I'm going to show you now play in really well with it. But the one that kind of gives you a booster moment, and you know, we're in 2021, everybody's talking about boosters, you know, getting a booster shot because of, you know, vaccination. So booster is, is the word du jour. I want to say booster is the new black. So how do we boost a perfume, a Chanel number no. five? Well, we boost it with Jasmine. And how do we boost it with Jasmine? By adding a bit of joy into our lives. Yes, I have both joys in their current and last formulation prior to its discontinuation. I got the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette. In their most indolic and skanky of versions, there, I have never in my life smelled a more indolic jasmine than, than the one you get in the Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette of Joy by Jean Patou. And Chanel Number no. 5 is all about the jasmine as well. Less indolic, though. The civet in the vintage version does skank it up quite a bit, but in such a beautiful way. Here, you just get the skanky, and it's really fecal to a point of like, wow, some people can't even uh, stand it. I love playing with it. I have found my perfect way of dosing it on my own skin, so on me, and now it smells divine. It just took me a long time to balance it out just right. And this one mixed with you know, added on top of Chanel number no. five, just umps even more the jasmine. If you're a fan of jasmine, try out those two together. It, it's a bomb, a bomb. And you are in floral heaven for the rest of the day. However, this one also doesn't last forever. I usually spray it behind the knee, so far away from the nose or in the hair. That's kind of the best on my body. Not really chest area and stuff because there it tends to get too warm and too kind of indolic. So, Moving on to number three, I want to, in the middle of the day, now as days are getting longer, you know, since we're moving towards June and the 21st of June is going to be, uh, what is it, the solstice of summer, the summer solstice. So it's going to be the longest day and the shortest night. And after that, the days are going to start getting shorter. So now we're in this last month running towards the longest day, right? The longest day is going to be in June. Isn't it funny? Because usually... When summer begins, the longest day marks the beginning of summer. And then the days, as summer begins, immediately as it begins, the days start getting shorter. And that to me has always been, I always have the feeling humanity has made a mistake in calculating these days. Uh, to me, now should be summer. To me, summer should be this ripening towards the longest day. So now is summertime for me. And the peak of summer for me should be the 21st of June. And then from the 22nd of June, as days start getting shorter, I wouldn't call that summer anymore. I would call that heading towards autumn. So to me, to begin summer on the day when, on that date, when days start getting shorter makes no sense. Summer to me should be, should be more, summer should begin when days are still getting longer and longer and longer. And then when they start getting shorter, that's when fade into autumn should begin. So anyway, that's just my idea. So for me, summer should begin beginning of May or mid-April or beginning of May. That should be already summer. So, but anyway, so in this period of, of the year when days are getting longer and longer, I, and we still don't have nightfall until in some parts of the world until 8 p.m. or maybe even 9 p.m. I'm thinking, let's refresh the concept of morning vibes even though we're at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. And how do I do that psychologically? By playing a game of Jersey. And I'm talking both formulations, both concentrations. Eau de Toilette and Pure Perfume, Les Exclusives de Chanel. Not the Eau de Parfum. I only do Eau de Toilette and Perfume. The Eau de Toilette has been discontinued, but the Pure Perfume is still in production. These babies are to die for. I love them to bits. I even have a travel size version of this one in 75 mil. And to have, this is one of the most beautiful lavenders. So now from the Jasmine, I'm moving towards Lavender Vanilla. Okay. And Lavender, marking the mid portion of my day. Oh. This one is divine. Let me put it to the side. I don't want it to spill. Mm. So this is one of the most beautiful lavenders in production. I kid you not. You want the purest form of lavender. Not, you know, you can buy lavender oils, essential oils in drugstores, and they always smell synthetic. Lavender has been synthesized to death. 
But here you get a natural lavender and it is delicate, sweet, supple, and the vanilla and the dry down, it's just beautiful. And it freshens you up in the middle of the day and it gives you that oomph of like, okay, let's start the day anew, like a new morning, an invigorating new morning in the middle of the day. It is possible psychologically and also physically because by spraying this in the middle of the day it really refreshes it's like taking a shower early in the morning except you're doing it in the middle of the day perfect for spring divine and layers very well on top of chanel number no. five so again chanel number no. five is our bone structure and we're building on top now chanel number no. five is all about um aldehydes the jasmine, the ylang ylang, the sandalwood, the civet. I mean, it originally, when it was first released, it had over 180 ingredients in it. So the, everything, all the perfumes I'm going to mention today, they all have a little bit of something, something going on with Chanel Number no. 5. My next one, we're going to stick with the lavender. So I started building up the lavender in this composition that we're, in the, in the architecture that we're kind of living in, in May. So... Around 3, 4 p.m. I added into the architecture, I added a couple of bricks of lavender. Now as evening approacheth, doth approacheth, we add more lavender to the mix, a deeper lavender. We go into the direction of um, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Au Noir. Au Noir is my fourth fragrance uh, for the month of May. Look how much I'm using it. You know, I just opened this in December. I mean, this one is, well, I'm draining it. And I'm so enjoying the Eau de Parfum. So enjoying it because usually uh, my Cologne concentration, which I have here, which is discontinued now, but I use it rarely and sparingly because it, it, it's no longer available. So my Cologne concentration is definitely a different type of intense than this one. So it really suits November, December. This is more winter fragrance. This one is more flexible. And I'm so happy that I've given it a go and a try because for the first time ever, I'm enjoying for the first time ever. And I've had that bottle for 10 years now. For the first time ever, I'm enjoying Au Noir, thanks to the current Eau de Parfum concentration, also in spring months. I've never contemplated using Au Noir in, in warmer months, but this one hits the spot. It is Lavender, licorice, burning woods, old, ancient mansion, dusty, immortel, divine, sublime goodness. Yes, this is my favorite from the uh, Maison Dior range. It even beats Bois d'Argent in its current state, for me. But for me, but I love to bits. Bois d'Argent and Au Noir are, are, are my tops, but this one takes the cake. And... So it adds lavender to the Jersey lavender, which is a soft, subtle lavender. This one deepens the experience because we're going towards evening. And it adds that licorice, the immortel, the woods. We were going darker. We're hinting at darker times to come. And then the darkest times are in the middle of the night when we enjoy mixing up all of the ingredients that we mentioned here. Plus we add some organic ambergris and we add some real oak moss to the mix and we replay the whole game with all the aldehydes that we had in Chanel number no. five the aldehydes are back and we top it all off with the darkest and most gothic rose you could ever envision and we're having a rose to end the day with ambergris and Ensemble mythique by Guerlain now you know they say there's no typical Guerlain uh, vanilla in here, but I want to say there's a hint of vanilla. I want to say there's just a little bit of that Guerlain DNA vanilla in there. There's a little bit of vanilla in here too, so they kind of mix as well. So we got the Jersey vanilla and the Ensemble Mythique vanilla, but uh, I mean, this one, I'm, I'm addicted to it. Addicted. And the ambergris in here, it's a, it's a different type of indolic. So our second perfume of the day was Joy, which had the floral indoles. And the last, the fifth perfume of the day is a Sosmetique that has um, animalic indoles. So the indolic aspect of this one is quite different to the indolic aspect of, of Joy, but they mirror each other. 
So that's the kind of the idea of my fragrances for the month of May, this duality of mirror, of constant mirroring, but more on the mirror and the duality uh, for my, an exclusive for my patrons and tier two members in an exclusive video that's coming out just for you. So thumb up this video if you've liked it thus far and be sure to join and become a patron today to get access to all the exclusive contents on Patreon and for my tier two members as well. So these are my top five perfumes for the month of May. Ensemble Mythique goes deep into the night. It's a wonderful fragrance to wear also early in the morning, but to fall asleep with this on, it lulls you to sleep and it gives you strange dreams sometimes because this olfactive experience in the dry down does stimulate the senses even subconsciously. So it might not be for everybody, but I'm kind of enjoying the trip I'm on when I wear it. So I got my backup bottles. <laughs> Best believe I got my backup bottles because if they're going to discontinue this, I, I will not be happy. So those are my top five. Um, let me see what y'all's guys got to say. Rich Mitch is happy. Yeah, Rich Mitch is happy about Ensemble Mythique. Of course, I discovered this thanks to Rich Mitch. So thank you, Rich Mitch, for telling uh, telling me about Ensemble Mythique in our video we did together. Rich Mitch and I could check that out as well. Uh, card section up above. Uh, if I'm out of cards by now, because you do only get to put five cards in every video, it will be down there in the description box down below, uh, the link to the video that uh, Rich Mitch and I made about perfumes to wear to funerals. And yes, this is one of them. So check out that video as well. Uh, Jesus is disappointed by Ensemble Mythique. I think you got to give it more time, Emilio, because you just got it. And I think you give it a bit more time. It's, um, well, I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it. What can I say? <laughs> We're all different, but yeah. I, because of all the I, of all the definitions you could give this one, meh is not one of them. You could say you don't like it, but like, you know. I've got an au noir candle, says Rich Mitch. Oh, you lucky son of a gun. Because they've discontinued the au noir candles. So you can't get them anymore. Gautier says, a shame they hide au noir in the drawers. I know, Gautier, it's a shame that they hide it in the drawers. But at the same time, I kind of like that we know that it's there. And you could always ask, pull out that drawer. Thank you very much. And then they give it to you because this one is worth every penny. I know they upped the price, but of all of their fragrances in the rotation that they had, the roster that they have now, Bois d'Argent and this one are worth the markup. Unfortunately, they only make the big bottle. You can't get the small bottle of this. That's the problem, but it is what it is. They still cost less than other Les Exclusives fragrances from other brands do in smaller quantities. So... Stanislava says Chanel jersey is magnificent. It's actually my top favorite from the Les Exclusives line. It is magnificent. I love it to bits as well. Um, oh, Jesus says uh, jersey is one of the few Les Exclusives that I'm not that familiar with. Ah, uh, Debbie says jersey is the one I could not get an auto toilet sample of. But they're hard to come by because they didn't sell as much when they came out because they're very subtle fragrance. Love jersey. It's on my list, says Aisha. Um, summer solstice. Yeah, says Jack Dean. I know it's the beginning. It's the beginning of Halloween, the summer solstice, isn't it? <laughs> Helen says, I got uh, auto toilet so sublime by Jean Patou. I do like it a lot. I like the bottle. Yeah, the bottle is just like this one. It just says Sublime on it. I think the liquid is a different, different color. I just says, Coco sent you that bottle from heaven. I know. the, the <laughs> Yeah, Coco. Coco was like, Jacob, um, yes, here's something for you. Great choices this month, Jacob. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you. David says, Jacob and Rich helped me unlock Ensemble Mythique. Oh, you like it too, David? Oh, I'm so happy you like it. I'm wearing the crap out of Chanel 1932 this month, says David. Uh, Renaud Laurent says, I'm wearing Coco Eau de Parfum today. It's so good. I always go back to Coco. It's like a drug, literally. It is amazing. Coco is a really good one. I love it too. Mr. Philip Fabulous says, Ensemble Mythique is heavenly, moved me to bits, touched my soul. Me too. Jersey and La Pausa are still on my wish list says olfactive stories thank you guys so much for tuning in and for sharing your thoughts and and your favorite perfumes as well 
uh, with me in the live stream here. Uh, Jesus says, La pausa is heaven. La pausa is divine. It is heavenly. It really is. I agree. So no matter if you're hunting down vintage versions of Chanel number no. 5 or the current formulations of it, still, it's worth getting, even in the most modern formulation of the pure perfume, especially now that its birthday is here, the 100th birthday, Chanel is going to celebrate it by creating special bottles, special editions. They might even enrich the formula, maybe just to make it even more worth our whiles. I do not know, but if there ever was a time, if you were for years un uncertain and unsure whether or not you want to splurge and jump on the pure perfume wagon of Chanel Number no. 5, there was never and there never will be in our lifetimes a better time to do it than now during the 100th birthday of Chanel number no. 5. So wait until somewhere in June Chanel announces all of their releases for the perfume collection and then is the moment to jump off that Chanel number no. 5 cliff and grab onto the pure perfume because let's face it the next 100 years, none of us are going to be alive in another 100 years to witness the 200th birthday of Chanel Number no. 5. So might as well enjoy to the fullest the time that we have now with this perfume. So just, just saying that. Uh, thumb up this video if you've liked it. And uh, subscribe to my channel. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Deco Balls spelled together to gain access to extra perks. Many of the perks one of the many of the perks is being listed here in the sidebar scrolling as co-producers of the fashion bunker at the end of every video just like we have credits rolling at the end of every really good quality movie and you get immortalized forever in one of the fashion bunker videos so you can also choose wisely and get the videos where the topic is something that's really close to your heart and have your name mentioned there as well so thank you so much for supporting the fashion bunker you guys you can also join me on uh, my instagram profile facebook twitter super deco ball spelled together you can also follow me on my chanel dedicated instagram profiles one is called coco chanel is in my house dedicated to my chanel collection and whatever the brand is up to these days. And the other profile is called Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together, uh, dedicated to the life of Coco. Don't forget, become a member, tier two member today or patron today. And then you get also access next week to the exclusive video of behind the top five perfumes for the month of May. There's a lot more to say about this topic and we're gonna get really deep and candid about it in the exclusive video as well. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all, see you soon, take care, bye. Mwah.